Thanks for inviting us in tonight. We're learning new information right now about how an Indianapolis couple ended up stranded on a Nevada mountain for days before they were finally found. Beverly and Ronnie Barker were discovered yesterday in a remote mountain area after disappearing last week. Unfortunately, Ronnie did not survive. Their nephew, Travis Peters, is a longtime editor here at WTHR. His family talked with Beverly tonight as she was released from the hospital. Beverly shed some light on the days they spent stuck waiting for help to arrive. The couple got lost in the Nevada mountains because of bad GPS directions. It was one of, the, one of those things where the GPS said go this way and they went that way and they saw other vehicles and, and I think she even said they saw other campers. Their RV got stuck Sunday night, March 27th. The next morning the couple got into the car they were hauling. They didn't think about bringing food or water, or blankets. You know, they had just made this route. They'll just go right back the way they came. The Barkers got stuck again. This is so my Uncle Ronnie. He started tapping SOS on the horn. You know, every, every 10 minutes or so, he would, he would pound SOS out. No one heard them, and they had no cell service. They would snuggle uh, in the back seat of the Kia. And as, as, um, as Ronnie got worse and worse, um, uh, you know, they would... <laughs> They were just trying their best to, to huddle together and, and to stay warm. Beverly, who is not mobile, walked to get some snow for the couple to drink. She had a walker with her, and, and she would make it up that, up that hill. And, and uh, she had uh, a couple sacks that she would put on her walker to put the snow in, and she would make it back down. Without food or water, Ronnie's condition worsened. As the days and the nights passed, um, my Uncle Ronnie told her that he was dying. He was dying. And she said, I know. I know you're dying. And they were trying to, uh, they knew it was dehydration. Beverly read the Bible to Ronnie, who eventually passed away on Monday. Beverly would continue honking in hopes that someone would hear her. She remembered, you know, that SOS that Uncle Ronnie taught her. And, Beeping that horn is what brought rescuers to her. Beverly was released from the hospital Wednesday and is now telling family her husband was at peace. He told her he loved her and the family and, you know, and they, she said that, you know, he just, it was very peaceful. He was totally at peace with, with leaving our, our earth and, and going on to, to heaven. Tonight, the family is telling us while they grieve Ronnie Barker's death, they're also questioning some of the roadblocks that seem to stifle the search for him and Beverly. They're telling us their hope right now is that Ronnie's legacy will be changing policy to allow for a faster approach to locating missing persons of all ages. And they want to see changes at all levels of public safety so other families don't face the same hurdles they did in their search for loved ones. We've got the family's entire statement posted right now. It's on WTHR.com.